Hi, thanks for coming to my channel. I'm your Everyday Joe. In today's video, I'm going to be making a baked stuff ziti in the power air fry oven, so stay tuned. We appreciate you watching this video. If you want to show support to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. And to stay up to date on new content, when we release it, ring the notification bell. You can also visit us on our website or look for us on social networks. Now let's get into the video. So the ingredients for this recipe are pretty simple. I'm using uh, half a bag of some mozzarella cheese, probably about four ounces or so, about seven ounces of a whole milk regatta cheese, uh, a couple of tablespoons of a, a grated Parmesan cheese, about a half a pound, uh, six, six or eight ounces of rigatoni, dry pasta, and some homemade meat marinara sauce. Uh, what I'm going to use for baking in the power air fry oven is this nine inch cake pan, which seems to work really well. And I'll show you how to set that up. So what we're going to do first is get the pasta in the, uh, in the water, which I've got boiling and salted already. We're only going to uh, cook it about halfway. So if the, if the instructions tell you about 10 minutes, then go about five minutes or if it's 12, go six. So you want to just par cook it. You still want, want it to be a little crunchy on the inside because it's going to continue to bake in the power air fry oven. Uh, so I'm going to get the pasta in the pasta water and we'll get this thing together. Okay, so now we're just going to add the pasta to the salted water. The water's coming to a rolling boil. So we're going to put that in there. that up a little bit, put the heat up, and we're gonna, we're gonna give it a little toss here, close it up, bring it to a boil, and after it's done boiling, I'm gonna strain it. Again, we're only gonna cook it about halfway, uh, so it's not gonna take long, maybe about five or six minutes or so. Okay, just strained it out. It's only partially cooked, so I'm gonna put it back in the pan here. In. and take it back to the stove top. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to it, just maybe a, a tablespoon or so, just to, to keep it from drying out. Okay, and we're going to add the regatta, we're going to add the whole thing into there, and we're going to just mix it up until it's well blended. And we're going to add only half the uh, mozzarella cheese. The rest we're going to add to the top. And half of the grated cheese. Okay. And one ladle of sauce. Actually, we're going to add two. It's that good. Okay. Okay, let's just take that out. And we're just gonna mix it up until it's all incorporated and the cheese starts melting. So you can see how it's just coating everything. So you wanna make sure that it's all incorporated, all creamy, all throughout. Okay. So now we're gonna take this to the counter and I'm gonna put it in the pan. I'll show you what the next steps are. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna, uh, I know this is a non-stick pan. I'm just gonna give it a light coat just to make sure that you know, all the pasta doesn't stick to the edges. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this pasta and just pour it in the bottom here. Okay, you wanna make sure you clean out all that cheese, all that goodness, clean it all out of there because it's all gonna, it's all gonna be baked in really nicely, okay. All right, so all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna flatten it out a little bit, just so it cooks evenly. You don't wanna to have too many high points. Although the high points are the best part, afterwards when we toast it up, those are gonna be the little crunchy parts of the, of the pasta that uh, everybody seems to go for. So just press that down a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add some sauce to it. And you wanna add uh, you know, a couple of ladles of it, uh, just not to make it soupy because it, uh, it has to continue to cook. So you want to make sure you had have enough liquid in there to help it cook. 
So that's, that was two ladles. We're gonna go with the third one here. Okay. Okay, and usually what I do is I just kind of shake it around to make sure it settles. Just give it a little tap here. Make sure it settles in. Gets, gets all within all the holes of the, the ziti or the, the rigatoni that I'm using here. Okay, and then the mozzarella over the top here. Okay, and some of the Parmesan cheese, again, over the top. Okay, we're good here. So we're just gonna press that down. Now don't forget, there's plenty of cheese on the inside, so don't worry about the top not being too cheesy. You can always add more right before the, the second bake where you're toasting the top. So don't worry too much about not having enough cheese here. We can always add more, which I probably plan to anyway. So uh, because it has to continue to cook, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take some tin foil and the thing with the tin foil, you wanna make sure that you're using the, the dull side on top of the food, not the shiny side. So the dull side, you know, seems to work better, you know, less sticky. Uh, and I'm also going to spray it with some of this cooking spray. Just, again, I don't want the cheese to stick to it and pull it off later. So spray that and cover it. Okay. It doesn't have to be super tight, just enough to make sure that it, it continues to cook in there. Okay. There we have it. So uh, I'm gonna put it in the center rack of the power air fry oven. I'm gonna set the oven to 320 degrees. If you're using a, a conventional oven, I would go about 350 for about 20 minutes. The power air fry oven, I'm going for about you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I'll take a look at it uh, at around 15 minutes. And then the last five minutes will be without the top on and I'll show you what that looks like when we get to that point. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'll see you after it's done. Okay, I put it in the second rack here. So we're just gonna close the door, turn it on, make that 320 for 15 minutes, and we'll check it uh, about uh, 10 or 12 minutes into it to make sure that uh, we're not uh, overcooking it. So I'll put that light on, and I'll see you when this is done. It's been about 12 minutes in the power air fry oven, so we're gonna take a look at it, see how we're doing. And as you can see, the cheese did not stick to the top. So that's what you what you want. So what I'm gonna do now is add a little bit extra cheese on it just for my own purposes, but I like the extra cheese on it. Okay, so just another handful or so, just to be able to coat everything up. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, put it back in the power air fry oven for five minutes, uh, so it toasts up. I'll keep an eye on it when it starts browning the tops a little bit. Uh, you'll see the little crispy edges. When you, when you get to that point, you're ready to take it out. We'll let it sit for about five minutes before we serve it because it, it's going to be scolding hot. So uh, I'm going to put it back in the oven, we'll let it toast up, and uh, I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so I just finished. I did have to uh, crank up the heat to about 400 for five minutes just to get the, the nice brown uh, tops. So let's take a look. See what it looks like here. And I'm just gonna pull the tray out. Oh yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? So I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes, 10 minutes maybe, just to, so it's cool enough. Uh, and then I'll plate it up and we'll give it a taste. So I'll see you then. Okay, so now it's cooled for a couple minutes. We're gonna dig into it and see see what this thing tastes like here. So let's, let's get in there. Oh, look at this. The cheese is all, all melted. This is. It's great. Look at that. Oh man, that looks great. So I'm just going to take a taste. It's probably still very hot here. Okay. Take a look at that. Oh man, this is, this is great. Hmm. Yeah, you can, you can taste the creaminess of the ricotta cheese. You, can, you still have that background taste of the Parmesan cheese. It's all back there, the, the nuttiness flavor. And uh, like I said earlier about the crunchiness of the tops, uh, there's not many, but there's, uh, there's a few of them. When you get one of those, it just blends in nicely. It gives you a nice little crunch uh, surprise while you're eating. If you give this recipe a try, comment at the bottom. Let me know how you liked it. Uh, 
if you have any suggestions or, or if you do like the video, go ahead and share it uh, and uh, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.